her husband among the drinking mates when she said come home we have no more food in the house will say what is the purpose of a wife i don't care about a wife i'll rather have drink than having a wife and then if he she force him to go home you know what will happen so that was her life for the last 25 years this video is about the battered woman that's the recipient of my port project the sewing machine I'm here right now in the house of the woman that I was saying would be deserving to be the port recipient or the port project recipient that my, char my charity corporation would like to help. A lot of people are feeling her, so there was a lot of support for her. This is the shed, the house that used to be a chicken shed that she converted into a living facility. She has managed to decorate it with spring onions and other decorative plants. And also, the good thing is she is the one who just convert everything into a livable condition. Now we'll go in and meet her. So this is she. Um, her nickname is Lalang. She's 48 years old. Actually, she has five children. Two are already adult and married off. And she has three children with her right now that are minors. I mean, the eldest one that's with her is 14 years old. The next one is 12. And the youngest is five years old. So this is Teresita, also known here in the community as Lalang. Hi, uh, 25 years married to her husband and she is here living by herself for six years because as you know the story she is a battered woman and she has left her husband in Mindanao because not only that she is the one working for their living he is also had vices that cause her to be so distressed all the time and after all these years for 25 years she has finally said I had enough. So, pag abot ni mo sa Cebu lang, so, kinsa yung gipoy and primero. So, when you come here in Cebu, kinsa yung who did you live with first? Hmm. But your your she lives with her daughter. That's but already married. Minyo naman yung anak lang no. But already married, so they have to move on because the they were embarrassed with the husband that she has three children and hers living with her daughter. So, ang ikaduhan ni mong anak na ara sa Mindanao. So, ang, the other one is left in Mindanao. And she, he also expressed his desire that he will join his mother here in Cebu because they've been here. So, with her, Lalang now has the three children with her living here on this house that she built out of the chicken barn. You can see that underneath her, all the chicken egg trays because outside here is the actual egg farm so unsa jud ibong problema nga what unsa jud ibong problema nga ni biya ka didto so what is your real problem why do you left your husband sige lang inom niya wala lagi ka baguhan ikapoy na kay ko sa pinagawi kay ako ray magtrabaho nya so she was saying that after for over 25 years her husband hasn't changed she keeps on giving him the chance when he goes out he just live on his own wages don't even think about feeding the family and he just con don't come back for a few days while he spend his wages and when he come back he's drunk and you know what's next gonna happen so then after six years ago she decided to leave the husband she 
um, kisa jud imong nganong anong ari man ka sa Cebu tungod sa mga anak. So she decided that the best way to escape is to go to Cebu because her first daughter was living here with her husband. At least she knows someone. Nya kisa ni hatag nyog pretty padung diri. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it's actually her first daughter, this the, the eldest kid, the give her the money to get out because she can't stand hearing her mother is being uh, physically abused, mentally abused, emotionally abused, and she had enough. So unsa trabaho ninyo dito sa koan Mindanao lang. So what is their work in Mindanao? They are farming. That's all they do. Ang imo sang bana umasad farming said they're also farming and then kanang namoy amo so that's all they do and when they earn money her husband will spend it drinking nya unsa toy mong giingon pinakasakit bisag naay mga tawo ingnon ka nga pinakasakit lang moapas gyud ug nya magingon siya mingon sa kanang asawa ay wala sa pauli dito unsa may sig apas apas ni mo ambisyo sara di ang nako so she has enough. She, um, her husband, among the drinking mates, when she said, come home, we have no more food in the house, will say, what is the purpose of a wife? I don't care about a wife. I'll rather ha drink than having a wife. And then if he, she forced him to go home, you know what will happen. So that was her life for the last 25 years. And now that she is here living alone with the three children, one is still in Mindanao who's expressing to, wants to come here because there is nothing in Mindanao that even the farms have closed down. Like, really hard life in Mindanao. Adiin mo, asa mo magkasturya si mong anak? Nade, silpon? Ah, so, nakay silpon? Diha, asa mo magkasturya sa iyang isoon? How will your son in Mindanao contact you? Through her sister? I mean, katong imong anak karun habilin sa Mindanao ba? Ah, so it's her daughter, the one that's been married, is telling her that her brother, her eldest son, wants to come here to Cebu and join them here and leave the husband behind because he is now the object of the abuse. So she wants to join his mother here. But Lalang is only... Unsay mong mga pangita diri lang. What does he do? So he's just doing washing clothes. Unsa pa? And she's also selling anything that... Um, any RTW that she can, anything just to earn money. Pero ang imong mga pamugas, how about your um, mga food? Imong mga pamugas, mga ngayon, hmm. tabangan na sa kanila, sa imong pamugas. Ah, di di ka tabangan nila. Oh, so that's what she's earning, trying to earn everything. She goes around the neighborhood here in the mountains of, what's this here, Masaba, Danao, and... It's very far from here. Actually, I, I left my car on the top of the hill. So I cannot get down here. And she goes around the whole villages and sell sa anything from fruit, eggs, and everything. RTW, beauty products, whatever, that some people will ask her, can you sell this? And you'll just have extra commission. And one good thing, Lalang knows how to sue. Kabaw ka mutahi lang. Diin ka na where did you learn? Eskwila ka? Sa Mindanao? So she was actually going to school in... Pila ka buwan? Three months learning how to sue in Mindanao. And that's why she knows how to how to sue. And unsa yung makausab sa imong kinabuhi lang? Nga makatab, uh, that makatabang sa imong panginabuhi. So I was asking her what will change her life that will add to her livelihood she can support her children. What's that, Jude? I just want to know how to do it. I just want to know how to do it. I just want to know how to do it. I just want to know how to do it. I just want to know how to do it. I just want to know how to do it. What's that, Jude? I just want to know how to do it. She wants to have a business because she got the skill to sue. What's that, Jude? I just want to know how to do it. 
na koy wan manahi ko mga kun sa mga manahi ko mga kortina mga punda para maka income ko so she can sew cur curtains um pillow cases sheets kabasa ka mahimo sa nina depende sa kung pattern nga naman so she can also sew dresses Anything because she wants her children to be able to go to college, even just high school. Unsa na humani mo lang? What education na? Because she's only grade three. But kabo ka mo basa? Ah, ah. But she knows how to read Tagalog. But she's grade three, and she wants her children to have more. No, gusto ka nga mas taku pang maabot si mong mga anak. So she wants to. Na she. Um, if not college, at least high school, that there'll be more than what she have achieved educational wise. So, kana lang, um, willing to gamot trabaho, if like someone will will give you a whole sewing machine and everything, willing to gamot trabaho. Ug nai muhatag ni mo nga sewing machine o mayin anat lang. Oh, gusto ko. Para na ni panginabuhi ana, ni aron makasuwi lang ni mga anak. Ya, makakaon. Because um, she said, the main thing is we had we have rice that we can eat, and then they can go to school, because she knows that she is not embarrassed to go around the villages here selling anything. Of course, she will be selling more of her products, like she what the pillowcase, curtains, bed sheets, whatever she can make out of it. She will accept jobs, not just keep on washing clothes, because sometimes the usahe no way magpalaban no. So, it's only sometimes that people, because of this, what's happening right now in the world, that they are only they are washing their own clothes. They don't wash, you know, like what happened to some of the washing women now that they lost their job because people are now washing their own clothes. So this is what happened to Lalang. She is now surviving by herself with her children. So ang imong wish yud lang. Nga gusto sad ka mabal maarito diri ang imong usa ka anak. Oh, gusto. Wala na kasi ako sa ina, buta sa She was so uh, upset because she wants to work hard so she can send money for her other son, the eldest son, who is now struggling in Mindanao, is now the object of abuse from the father, so she wants to take him here as well. Then she wants to work hard so she can send him money, but I'm join Chaninyo Dirito so he can join them here, because he knows that his son is hard working as well. Pile unsay grado ato mong anak? Because he's only grade four and he wants to help. He wants to be there for that son because he is very sickly kid. So that's why he's up, she's upset that she only had the three here, the fourteen, twelve, and the five year old. And he wants to have them all here, not one left to her husband, because her husband hasn't changed at all. Her has her son is the now the object of those abuses that she has experienced before. So Lalang has one more wish that she wants to share the world. What's that? Mong wish. Nina, oto nga panan matuman panan dulo magbuuna ng pamilya. Mm -hmm. So she is only wishing that all her children will be with her. Even without the husband, she wants them to be with her because that will make her peacefully thinking as a mother that any one child that's lost, she can't sleep at night just thinking about the son now that's left in Mindanao. And now she's willing to work hard to do that sewing machine so she can earn money and let them all live with her and that is her last wish is to have her children with her so i'm asking lalang what is the major um income that she has to survive right now so she's only um biggest um earning right now is just washing clothes like we have mentioned a lot now is washing their own clothes so she had less and less so that's why she is um hoping that she can do the sewing machine and then also um she she has another problem because she, she needs some um, like reading glasses like 
because she used to have glasses that she used to use so i'll check if i could buy those reading glasses the highest is i think three So this is Lalang's house that used to be a barn and you can see how she convert things here. It's still uh it's still earth because it used to be a chicken barn. She just the other chicken barns there, she just convert this area here to be her abode and her children. She has three, three children with her and this is her kitchen. You can see it's made of coconut I mean coconut not coconut rather bamboo and some plywood and some earth but one thing I have noticed with Lalang that she it's although it's very simple and basic it's actually clean and then she divide the kitchen with a cloth that she just hang the walls of the barn she just put some cloth to make it private and this is her living abode and one thing is she is the major builder of this house she only asked someone to help with the building of the roof in which some volunteers managed to do so some are even volunteering to give her some of the wood trusses that you can see there it's just made of the local bump coconut wood that's here but have i've noticed I've been to a lot of people of uh, a lot of poor houses around but Lalang's abode is quite what she got here is quite well kept and tidy it's very tidy than what most have I have seen so here you can see her simple abode although it's still just earth you can see here she has kept it well clean and tidy so she is now living as a caretaker of the poultry but the poultry has already stopped that's why they she was allowed to convert the half of it for a living area but this is extend to the back where the pole trees are and also look at her garden she is planting spring onions chilies and all food and look at how she done it here in the back that's string beans chilies spring onions spinach all mostly food she's planting around because um as long as you got rice you can had any food with it that you can that she plant around So this is the poultry that she used to be the caretaker and on the back as well on the side on the back there you can see the poultry area there the one on the sh with the sh plain sheet there's the where the eggs are harvested so this used to be one of the barns where she lives so you can see the woman is so hard up she's battered she's abused for 25 years and now she had the guts to come here to Cebu to make better of her children's life
This is how she made the barn now. So this is the children of Lalangas here. This is Bidangs, 12 years old. What's your name? Marcel. Bidang yang nickname. And this is the youngest son of Lalang. Pila ida ni Kinkin? Five years old. So Kinkin, unsay wish ni mo sa mong mga anak lang? What do you wish for your children? Kebunan sila di skila. Ibu gusto ang bagi anila nako, bagi anila. So all she wish. So she wants her children to have a better life than her, better education, and don't have the life that she has experienced growing up in the farm, hardship and everything. She wants their life to be better. And she's willing to work hard for it so they can have a better life than what she has. So, Kin. So, this is Kin Kin. This is the boy that I was telling about that you give him a toy and she will bury it. Unfortunately, I forgot the truck that I'm going to give him because I was in the rush because it was raining this morning. I was not a, I was not planning to come here. So, that. Unsa na kang graduaron ga? Grade 6. Ah, so, nag ka karon wala. Wala pa. Wala pa. Grade 7 karun kan? Ah, muskila karun gira. Grade 7? Pero naka-enroll na, wala pa. So, by opening, June, June naman. August pa. So, by August, she will be grade 7. So, that's Marcel. Marichel. Anong bidang? Marichel. And then, Kinkin. Ano sa'yo tinood nga ni Kinkin? Ken Dustin. Ken Dustin. So she's five years old. He's not what para sa eskwela. Oh, so that's the youngest of Lalang. So this is the children, and they have a fourteen-year-old brother who's old now working as a farm help here in the hills of Danao.